I invited this criminal into my home. He's a criminal? Yeah, he's a criminal. He's a real criminal. I got $1,750 out of my account. You have that receipt. He stole the receipts that he gave me. You got me out of my job. I didn't get a check from this man the whole time I was with him. I have a special needs child at home. I have yes. no time to miss checks. This guy's lying. Ow. Plaintiff Diana Kindred claims the defendant flushed her money down the toilet. She's suing for $4,050 for a botched bathroom remodeling job. Defendant Robert Jones claims he only wanted to help a nice church-going lady and even left the materials in her garage when he finally quit. He says he owes her nothing. Yes, I do. Case number 127 on the docket, Kindred versus Jones. Okay. Good morning. Good, Good morning, morning, Judge. Ron. Nice to see you both. Let me see what we have here. The plaintiff, Ms. Kindred? Yes. You are suing the defendant, Mr. Jones, here for $4,050 for an unfinished bathroom remodeling job. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, why don't you tell me about it? I uh, invited this criminal into my home to finish my bathroom that was, n was not finished. He's First a of all... He's a criminal? criminal? Yeah, he's a criminal. He's a real criminal. He came what? into my home to act like he was going to finish my bathroom, but never did. How did you meet him? I met him through his mom. His mom goes to the same church I go to. Okay, so you and your, his mom were friends. Yes. So I was at church, and I was talking about my bathroom at church, that I wanted to get my bathroom remodeled. And I asked, anybody know anybody that knows how to remodel a bathroom because I needed my bathroom remodeled? His mom mentioned him that he was legit, he was licensed, and he was a, a professional. He could do the job, and he would do a great job. And so, are you, in fact, licensed? Yes. So. He came over, he looked at my bathroom, walked around like he was real professional, like he was gonna really do the job, uh, and he was gonna do it thorough. It told me it would take him two weeks uh, and he would finish doing the job. So after that, I asked him, how much would he charge me? He told me $3,500. Okay. But he would need half of the money up front. And I have the proof that hmm. I went, when I, I went to the bank, I got $1,750 out of my account, and I gave it to him. And you're saying you gave it to him as the down payment for... I did, in cash. In cash. So, he gave me a receipt hmm. for that amount. You have that receipt? Hmm. No, he stole the receipts. He went in my room. What? I had my door locked. What? He went in my room. He stole the receipts that he gave me. I need to speak, please. Please. First and foremost, this was a job done out of the goodness of my heart because this woman who's suing me and say, I'm a criminal, is a God-fearing woman that go to the same church with my mother. Yes. I got a phone call from my mom. She said, Bobby, I need your attention. I said, Mom, what's going on? She said, my friend Diana go to church, had somebody else come do the bathroom, and they didn't do it quite right. I said, Mom, I'm working on a big job in the city, but I will go take a look. I told her that it was going to be a side job because I had jobs that were contractually paying me through no, the union. No, you didn't tell me that. And I had somebody to work with me. Did I have somebody to work with me? Oh, His name one was time. Jordan. Yeah. One yeah. time somebody no, three, came. Four, okay. Your Honor, half of the time I did the job that I, that I was on Miss Kendrick's property, she was not there. When was this first uh, agreed back to? In, back in October. May and March, October, some. October. A lot of weeks. October. Went by. Okay. October. So October, you made the deal. First the point of all, is, we are now a year later mm -hmm. because under duress, a person that knows professionally what he's doing will not have the morale to bring forth this beautiful situation like this here, which I've done. That's not my bathroom. With, exactly, it's not your bathroom. This is somebody else's well, bathroom. Okay, they well, give me no stress. Fine, but they're not... Well, I'm talking about my bathroom. Yeah, okay. they didn't give me no stress. Time after time, he left dust all over my house. He left dust in my kitchen, all over my dishes that were on my counter. And it's not completed. No. Is what you're saying. My bathroom's not completed right mm -hmm. now. Did he tell you how long the job would take? He said two weeks. He said two weeks? Yes. Okay. How much did you pay him? I paid him $4,050. Can I see pictures of your Yes, your you may. Bathroom? All right. So it looks like there's work being done in the bathroom. Your Honor, in order to do a remodel, you must do what? You must tear down the old Got it. in order to rebuild the new. Yes, he did that, Your Honor. So under, right. under that, he I found that. issues, but, Your Honor. But he I didn't found like... urine. Yeah. Uh, okay, human. This no, no, in the floorboards. In the floorboards. Yes, sir. Now they missed the I didn't toilet. Have floorboards. Okay, but it, what it, you it, think is under under your towel? Okay, first of all, you're on. All right, wait, that's wait, wait, wait a second. You paid a total of four thousand and fifty dollars. Exactly. But 
it hasn't been completed. Right. It is a year later. She has a right to believe, even if we're not going to stick to the two weeks, mm -hmm. she has a right to believe that in a reasonable amount of time, mm -hmm. that bathroom is going to be completed. She gave you the money. You took some of that money to buy the materials. Your Honor. Which she has in her Your garage Honor. still. Okay, tell me about the materials. I, I took, I did. I took him to the store yes. for what I wanted to buy. He took me to a warehouse where there's stuff that didn't even look like it was legible to put in nobody's bathroom. Yep. So I took him where I wanted to go. So I took him to a store, I took him to Menards, and I picked out what I wanted. I bought the furniture, and what I did when I bought the furniture, I put it in his name because he was gonna be the one to yeah. come and pick it up. And and yeah. deliver it to my home. Okay. What he did the next day or that day before, he went back and got the money off of the furniture that I bought. Negative. And, and And I don't Negative. know, because I tried to go get a receipt Negative. when he went and got it back. But after 90 you days... You say you bought these materials. Your Honor, Your Where are the receipts actually, for the materials? I actually went and grabbed the materials. Yeah, I took The first $17.50 was paid with drywall. What materials did he leave? He brought a new toilet to my house, but when the to when I opened the box, it was not a new toilet. It had poop in it. He took the new toilet out and put an old toilet in the box. Whoa, 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 whoa. And <laughs> okay, help me out I don't know how here. he did it, but yes, it was an older. It wasn't a brand new toilet. The one I picked out, I it know, wasn't even that toilet. Even if it's an old toilet, it would be flushed. It didn't come with the water. I don't it... know. Well, it was dirty. It had, you know, it wasn't. Okay. Evidently, they didn't wash it good. I took Miss Diane too what I have access to as a contractor. It's a 10% restore from buildings that are being built. It has all types of material. I didn't from that store. There's a smart toilet in there that Miss Kendrick tried to look at at Menards, and I said, why would you spend 450 for that toilet when I can go and no, get it? No, it costs 2 When I can go and get it for $160. Mm -hmm. That's not what I wanted. It's okay. the same well, type, type of toilet. That's not what I wanted. She paid for a toilet that she thought was a new toilet, it's a and new she's toilet. saying what the toilet she got was it not is a new. new toilet. To my it knowledge, clean. it was a closed box. What other stuff was left in in your Nothing. house? Nothing. He so didn't leave anything else in my house. Ceramic that was the town. only thing he left Ceramic. drywall in Ceramic. my garage, but he didn't Ceramic leave town. anything else. And he's in... saying, and you left ceramic tile. No, we didn't just buy drywall. Flooring. We didn't buy flooring house. from Menards. We didn't buy the floor tiles. I if there, if floor... there are ceramic tiles in your house. I had ceramic tiles on my on, on my own. I didn't go with him to get no ceramic tiles. I picked out the ceramic tiles that I wanted. He never got them. He was texting me time after time after time, making excuses why he couldn't come. He said I was calling him and calling him. Yes, I wanted my bathroom done. He never came back to finish my bathroom. When I gave him $2,300, Your, Your Honor, Honor, he never showed back up. What is clear to me is there's no dispute that over time you gave him four thousand fifty dollars. Right, I want just so I have to figure out now out of that four thousand fifty dollars how much he's entitled to keep and how much he should return to you. You're not entitled to all the four thousand and fifty back because he did do some work for the materials left. And you're showing me pictures, but you're not showing me any receipts. She paid you four thousand and fifty. The job is not finished. Not finished. You are entitled to keep 1750 of the work that you did. So I am finding 4050 someone help me quickly <laughs> minus <laughs> minus 1750 which was the 2300 2300 I am finding for the plaintiff in the amount of $2300. He was the dumbest criminal ever. He didn't have any receipts. He didn't give me any receipts. He left a nasty toilet in my house, and he did not finish my bathroom. At the end of the day, she came here to get money and smear me. She tried. I'm still standing. Still a good businessman, but I will not work under the rest. Plaintiff Jeffrey Knoll tried to help an employee, but wound up with a headache. He's suing for $1,500 for an unpaid loan. Defendant Jason Jackson claims his ex-boss shorted his paycheck every week. So the plaintiff has been paid in full. Do you swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. It's case number 182 on the docket, Noel versus Jackson. All right, and welcome to both of you. We have here the uh, plaintiff, Mr. Noel. 
you are suing your former employee, Mr. Jackson, for $1,500 for an unpaid loan that you say he used to take his girlfriend on vacation. Yes. Tell me about it. Jason was an employee of mine, and all of a sudden he comes to me and springs on me that he forgot that he had a trip that he had scheduled for New York in two weeks, which shocked me to begin with, and he needed to take a couple days off. So, of course, I'm a nice guy, and I give him the two days off with no real bunch yeah. of notice. And then, after I paid that, then he came and asked to borrow money for me for the trip. I go, how much you need? He said, $500. I said, that's fine. And I'm being, trying to be a good boss. I said, are you sure that's enough money? I go, you're going to New York. It's expensive. You know, if you don't have enough, enjoy yourself. Yeah. So I talked myself, and I go, how about $1,000? I go, he goes, yeah. I go, you know what? I got some cash in my pocket because I'm in construction. I go, how about $1,500? So not only did I get screwed for $500, I talked myself into getting screwed for $1,500. You should have kept talking to him. I know. <laughs> he gave me money. OK. And that was money that was owed to me. I was with this man for three months. We, had a, we didn't have another employee. I was it. I lent him the money. And then and the whole, oh, then they said, which I didn't necessarily care about, Within a couple weeks, he'd pay me back. Did you not tell me you had a Did you not tell okay. me you had a settlement? You were going to pay me from your car? All right, don't talk to each other. That. So when you gave him the money, you exp it was a loan. It was a loan, and you were clear about that. Yes, definitely a loan, okay. without a doubt. I, he's not even working very well for me. What Action does he Jackson do? over what, here. He's what does he do for you? He was a working superintendent. I'm in the pool business, and I build swimming pools. Okay. And when I hired him, I asked him. Are you qualified? I go, if I asked you, could you build a pool in your backyard? He goes, from start to finish. He wanted me to leave the current job company we were both working for that day. I'm, I'm, I can't do that. I said, I had to give, give a two-week notice. OK. I thought right then, I should have known what was going on with this guy. Yeah. He, he's nothing but a glorified laborer. Everything, every job he went on, he screwed up. Everything he did was screwed up. Why didn't you check that before you hired him? Because I, I take people for their word. I, I met him at another pool company, and they had hired him, supposedly, as an assistant superintendent. Yeah. And when I went to start my own company, I needed somebody like him. And I didn't know him very well, but he seemed like a hard worker. He hasn't paid me back. I keep asking him about the settlement for the car loan. And then, this is the, I, this, this is the kicker. He tells me on a Friday, can I get my check early for the week? So now I, it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I, Make sure he's got his paycheck for the whole week, which he didn't even work through the whole week. And he goes, said he's going to go to his lawyer to get my money. All right, never hear from him again. Come Monday, he doesn't even have the decency to call me. He calls my other employee that I hired and tells him, he goes, I quit. And, you know, it's like spitting in my face. So I lend him the money, he doesn't pay me back, and he quits. And then, then we start texting. I go, can you call me? Can you call me? You don't call me back. Then he said, then he goes, quit hounding me, man. Quit, this texting's got to stop. Then I finally said, listen, this is your last chance. If you don't answer me now, I'm going to take, you know, alternate action. And he goes, go ahead. Sue me. I'm wired up. What's your side? That whole thing he said, completely false. How, let me, how let me get to my get you. First how? of all, we work for the same, same company. Yes. I was in the field. I was never a supervisor, so I don't know where you get that from. Never a superintendent yeah, with that company. Okay, I was not. Okay. He came to me needing a superintendent. He said, if I hire you, I need you to be a working superintendent. I got a new company. Uh, I was looking for an opportunity. Yeah. He painted a beautiful picture of us running a company, everything, and what with was, employees. And what was the pay supposed to be? 1200 for a working superintendent. But he said, you can't a week? kill A week. He said, but I'm starting a company. You yeah. can't kill me like that. Judge. Yeah. Judge. Okay. We let said, him finish. I gave you a chance. Yeah, I let you talk. Yeah. I said, we'll go at a thousand. Yeah. I wanted me to quit I, that I, day. I told you I'd pay you a thousand dollars. Can you let me finish? You came yeah. in here and rewrote history. Can Why I get through my solicitor? Right, can right, I, can right, I come right, in here right. and say my. He's mine? talking now. Go Speak ahead. To the judge, sir. Oh, my God. Okay. I, he shows up with $600 that first week. <laughs> Not happy. You said to him what? Wait. I explained to him, man, this, this is not what we agreed on. Why did you keep working Why would for I leave? Why did you keep because I quit it? my okay. job on your word, Jeff. I was in a position. Yeah. I, have I, a, okay. me. I have a special needs this child at home. I have yes. no time to miss checks. You got understand it. what I'm saying? Got it. He got me out of my job. When he paid you per week, was it in a check? 
No, he paid me under cash under the table. I didn't get a I didn't get a check from this man, a paper check, the whole time I was with him. But the only thing before us mm -hmm. is the fact that he Thank you. loaned you fifteen hundred dollars. That money was to be spent for you to take a trip with your girlfriend. That trip was planned before while I was still. Okay, okay, we, but we you were still the, working for. But the he same never told company. me when he hired him. He remind he remembered he had All a right, trip. he loaned you the money though, right? Yeah, he did. he gave you okay. money. Yeah. Okay. How much did you ask to borrow? Five hundred. I asked for five hundred. And I offered even more money. Yes. Being I, it doesn't trip. matter. You offered him. You, I, he loaned you fifteen hundred dollars. I want to know. You did you pay him back the fifteen hundred dollars? No. You didn't pay him back 15 No, I did not, because I was owed that money. I even got a promissory note I signed. Oh, okay. Let me see it. He you. borrowed the money, signed, witnessed by my niece. That's the original, his signature, that he literally said, that was even after, that was a month after I lent him the money, I told my niece, I said, I better get this in writing, because this guy's a liar. Wow. Right? Wow, wow. So it says on August, he signed on All right, October it says 13th. Here. He already was supposed to have gotten his money. I even gave him two more weeks to settle with his... Let me see what you got, and then I'll see what you got. This is the whole text conversation part of it. There's more to it, but that's the part they... Um, Jeff, that's after the fact. That that's I had the left He goes, Jeff, I owe you the money. As soon as I get a settlement, I'll pay you. There, there's where he says, don't bother texting me anymore. This has got to stop. On September 28th, this document says, I, Jason Jackson, acknowledge that I requested a loan of $1,500 from Jeff Knoll. Said loan is to be repaid within 14 days of October 13th. And you signed. There's your signature. Okay. So, this case is very basic. A loan was given to you. You accepted it and signed a document which says you would pay him back by October 13th. Regardless if on some other issues he owes you money, that doesn't have to do with this. Okay, but on oh, this, on. this case is only about that loan which you signed and admitted that you owe him that money and because of that, I find for the plaintiff in the sum of $1,500. Thank you, Your Honor. That man is a freaking liar from head to toe. It just shocked me that he lied about every single thing. But he couldn't lie about the loan because thank God I put it in, got it put in writing. The man from his opening statement, he disparaged me. Uh, he came to me. I didn't even know this man. He made a lot of promises. He didn't, it, I had to get my money from this man. And that was the only way I knew how to get it. Thanks for watching. Now please approach the bench. The way I look at it, you have two options here. Option A, watch more Judge Jerry. Option B, watch more Jerry Springer. The choice is yours. Now get out of my courtroom. You have more clips to watch. And don't forget to subscribe.